Breaking news. Hello all Z8 users. Finally, Nikon has updated the Z8 with the features of the Nikon Z9 and moved a step ahead. The features added benefit still and video shooters. This is the Nikon Z8's first major firmware update. Being a Nikon Z9 user, the enhanced bird detection made a big difference in the autofocus and that is one of the amazing new features. On paper, the Nikon Z9 and the Nikon Z8 share the same technology, but Nikon has done something no one expected. Find out next in this special edition of the Photo News Brief. Welcome, welcome, my name is Vaughn. I'm so proud to say at this moment that I'm a Nikon camera owner. What Nikon has done in 2023 and 2024 so far with firmware updates and camera releases has renewed my belief that Nikon is working hard to surpass our expectations. Now that Nikon is seeking the support of the Nikon community by taking feedback, I'd like you to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button so you can get notified of videos supporting the Nikon community. Now let's get started with what's in the Nikon Z8 firmware 2.0. Nikon has created unexpected results with this firmware upgrade. They basically leapfrogged their flagship camera, the Nikon Z9, with new features not available on the Z9. Nikon has taken the best features from the Z9 and the ZF and squeezed them into this firmware upgrade. If you are a bird photographer, you will love that Nikon has enhanced the bird detection on the Z8. Nikon has added a dedicated bird detection mode. This mode is distinct from the animal detection mode. When I tested the new bird detection mode on my Nikon Z9, the results immediately showed. It not only detected the bird's eyes, but it didn't focus on their neck and body as much as it had before. Nikon enhanced the bird detection algorithm to detect a wider range of birds, even against dynamic backdrops. Now let's talk about another feature, auto capture. This feature will capture any subject in a predefined area in stills and video mode. The three criteria that can be configured are the motion option that detects subjects that move in a designated direction, the distance option which can begin shooting when a subject is within a certain range of distance, and the subject detection option that detects people, animals, vehicles, and airplanes if you like to shoot airplanes within the frame. In still photography, this works at 30, 60, and 120 frames. The auto capture feature allows you to remotely capture a bird in flight, capture action shots from a distance without pressing the shutter button. This will come in handy when you're waiting on a bird to take flight. When I'm photographing birds like this heron, you have to wait and wait for them to take flight. When they fly, they have a majestic wingspan. It's just a matter of catching it. This gives Z8 users one more tool to capture some amazing shots. Let's move on to the pixel shift feature. For all the Nikon Z9 users, pixel shift isn't in your toolbox at this time, so don't look in your menu. But Nikon Z8 users get the added benefit of pixel shift technology. Pixel shift shooting allows photographers to create super high resolution photos by using dedicated software to merge multiple raw files recorded with a camera mounted on a tripod. That's a 180 megapixel of exposure from a 16 or 32 exposure sequence. This feature works great for landscapes, architecture, stills, and macro photography. You're kidding a lot. Please leave those comments if you think these new features will benefit you. You will help out someone undecided about Nikon. Please hit the subscribe button. Finally, these are some minor features that will be of interest to Nikon Z8 users. For portrait photographers, the addition of the rich tone portrait picture control is great for portraits. You can use camera presets to create quick edits of skin details, add events like weddings. Nikon offers other presets such as 
portrait impression balance and skin softening here are some more function and additional enhancements that will help you with the uh, operation and functionality of your camera the number of function and operations that can be assigned to custom controls has increased the ao the ov function has been added that enables users to exit zoom with a half press of the shutter release button when the focus mode is set to manual focus you get new shutter sounds so you can have a cat or a dog i guess and volume options the option that allows users to choose the width of the focus point borders has been added an option that allows users to choose not to record shooting orientation information in image exit files has been added an option that allows users to choose not to record shooting orientation information in image exif data has been added a new preferred focus point face priority option that sends the display on a face when one is detected while scrolling through photos during playback zoom has been added nikon z8 users should rejoice that nikon supports the community through free firmware updates that add features and bug fixes i have a nikon z62 that is three years old and nikon is still releasing updates nikon with update 2.0 proved that they are backing their products long term i love long-term relationships i've been with nikon for seven years now this is what i want from nikon a better smartphone app i shoot solo and i would like the option to control more settings without the app resetting all the time i could always use the nx tether it's free now to connect to my PC, but sometimes when I'm outdoors, I want to do videos seamlessly. I guess you can't have it all. Thanks for watching this breaking photo news brief and watch my other photo news briefs.